Hello friends. Today I have a letter from imaginary friend asking, Tora Tora, how do I paint things that I don't know how to paint, which is the white objects? I'll show you how. I have a model set from Windsor and Newton because I thought maybe it's unfair that I have such a big set and you don't, so I decided to use a small set of colors. And you can achieve this white effect with like, no matter how like small your set is. I start by outlining the garlic. So first, the common shape of it is round, right? And then I see the top part like this. And then I divide it into this small divisions. light comes from here. Here is the dark side of it. And it's casting shadow over here. Let's see this part. So, um, before applying your color on, on, the, on the object, take a separate sheet of paper, or do like I do, like first apply it here, see that you need it uh, darker or warmer which means more yellowish or ochre. Like here I mix some blue with ochre. And I apply it on the shadow part. I see a little hint of yellow through whites. Can add something pinkish. A little bit. By painting white objects, it's very important not not to kind of cover it with paint completely. Don't do anything drastic. But slowly, little by little, build the form and paint in the parts of an object. Add the shadows so that you know what's going on in comparisons with the white sheet of paper.
was a very important. Be patient. Don't um, don't do what I'm trying not to do right now. Like <laughs> don't add too much <laughs> color straight away. Let it dry in between. Like, now I'm stopping for now. I will let it dry for 10 minutes and then proceed. You should. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a bit more drier and I go on to layer the colors gently. I'm mixing a lot of uh, ultramarine with uh, with browns. Just one brown color. I think. Also, you will see that object is white in comparison with the with the background around it. So, as soon as I will indicate this background, you will see that oh, the object was white all the way. Where is this blue coming from? Okay. The situation is 
being impatient so let's wait a bit longer for the things to dry and then after I make this part sharp it will pop up okay now that it's dry I am emphasizing the shadow I don't know if it's the right word to use, but it sounds so good. Here. With the contrast. And This set doesn't have a black color and to go dark I use ultramarine with dark brown and this uh, crimson or magenta, whatever it is. So the darker the background is, the whiter is the garlic. Like everything in life, you know. You never know how bright the things were shining until you place them in the darkness. So I won't go too much into details since we want to keep it as a very much of a beginner's level and uh, for beginners this is the information like in the end to to achieve white like first of all make sure the background is darker then it will be easier and uh, for the shadow, use the combination of ochre color and ultramarine 
mix in some crimson, like depending on which objects are around and which color they kind of, um, which color they throwing on our object. Because it's uh, with with white, it's very important what is around it. Like if I put the apple here, then in the shadow of this garlic, there will be a lot of reds. See, if I put lemon, see how the how it changes. If I put something, uh, so the color jumps on white. So this is it for today. This is our garlic. Looks dramatic. <laughs>